I just quit the Envite program, and the reason why I quit the Envite program is specifically this. I think this is absolute garbage. The way that they presented it, the light that they put the Envoy program in, and the way that they tried to spin this. And uh, I, I left the Envoy server, I sent a message to Archangel, and I said I quit the program. And there was also a, a trip where they wanted to fly me out to LA and all that, and I sent them a message saying I'm not going on the trip. Where are the event charts? Going forward, event charts will no longer be regularly in the weekly blog, instead be presented by select content creators prior to an event going live. Be on the lookout next week for content creator videos showing off the events and their recommendations. More details will be supplied in the, the next weekly buy to streamline this process and help you find a content creator for, to follow for this information. There is very little accurate about what's going on here and i think people like boylan should be pissed tana should be pissed this is what happened the events are too complicated and they can't publish the blog post charts in a timely manner because not only are the 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 events designed to be super complicated that nobody can understand them they don't understand them and they can't be accountable to publishing them on friday because they're always wrong because they're too complicated so they can't deal with the stress they need the flexibility they can't be accountable the events are too complicated. There's feeder events going into feeder events. And they they told us in an Envoy call that they were going to stop publishing the charts. They're going to stop publishing the, the charts in the blog. And I was like, well, you guys just don't want to be accountable. Your events are too complicated. Oh, yeah. Well, well, whatever they said. I don't know what they said, but that's what I said. And and, and then the, the, the concept came up. And, and this is what really happened is like, well, hold on. Don't some of the content creators add value in seeing the charts early and actually fix some of your screw ups. And they go, oh yeah, you guys sometimes fix the math for us because we can't do it because the events are too complicated. Oh, well, maybe we can let you guys get early access to it. And maybe you could make some videos about it. Uh, and double check our math. Yeah, we might be able to work that out, but we just, we can't be publishing them anymore. And then they publish this garbage right here, which has nothing to do with the real issue. The real issue is they were going to publish the bog charts for anybody. And, and, and the only thing that we could do to get them from to not do that is let some of the content creators see it or all the content. I don't know how they were going to do it exactly because they can't figure out the events in time to actually accurately put them in the blog post. It was too much of a hassle. The events were always wrong. And then for them to spin it right here, like they're gonna just big boy club and only certain people are gonna get it, uh, punish the people that are not envoys, which like Tana's not an envoy, Boylan's on envoy. I don't understand why they think this is a good idea. I absolutely don't wanna be a part of this. I, I don't need the content creator program. I haven't wanted to be in it for a long time. I was doing them a favor with all the bug testing every week. I don't want anything to do with it. It's garbage. You can, you, it's just absolutely trash. Absolute trash. I'm over it. I'm done. Um, I don't need it. Um, th th I can't believe how dense they are over there. Anyways, that's my rant for today. Um... I, I just, I, I can't stand it. I, I absolutely can't stand that, that they think this is a good idea to publish it this way. This is like when they ran the player voice movement under the bus. I, I just don't, I, I just can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Cannot believe this at all. Oh, anyways, there's some good stuff in the blog post, but I wanted to get to that first. Uh, this video right here, um, largely a, a useless video. I watched all of it. Uh, they did give some ISO recommendations, which were interesting. Now, I've been reluctant to give ISO recommendations on the team because I have been able to play the entire team. I will read you the ISO recommendations on the team. They said Ronin Striker, which I was pretty sure of. A Mockingbird to be Healer or Striker. And then this is kind of interesting. They were saying a Tigra right here to be Skirmisher. 
thing to be Raider, which I put striker, but Raider is interesting. I, I didn't I didn't see him hitting a lot of targets, so that didn't make sense to me. And then Coulson to be skirmisher. Initially, I was thinking Raider on skirmisher. I, I want to play the team before I have set ISO recommendations. I'm pretty you know solid on being Ronin a striker. Uh, it's not good at all. Uh, let's see what we're going to do right here. Um, we got some weird stuff right here. Let's go over the Stormwatch. Battle and Blitz. Battle and Blitz for the Stream Divination. Ronin event starting on 9-11. Win battles in Crucible 9-11. All right. That's going to be interesting. Also, there's a there's an event running right now for three weeks where you play like Thing, Coulson, and all that in war. I, I think it's going to be better to do that later because you only have to play like one attack to get the points for that. Uh, when the, when you have the full team, but like breaking it apart right now and and doing an attack and maybe sacrificing war, I, I think the event is long enough where you don't need to do that right now. You can wait until the full team is out. Earn Blitz credits. Earn Blitz credits are the complex conjuration web milestone starting at 9-11. Spin campaign energy. Spin came energy, recruiting Ronin events starting on the 15, and then winning in raids also on the 15. Let's get back to the blog post. Uh, this is going to be the probably the best part right here, and I, I kind of just, my eyes were drawn to it. Hard Nexus, chapters 3 and 4. And so that's going to allow us to farm uh, Titania and uh, the British Zemo guy, whatever his name is. We can go down here a little bit lower, and then it's uh, actually listed right here uh, what it's going to be. Well, we'll get to that part, but it's... Uh, the British, the, the, I can't remember his name right now because I'm still livid about the post all over our Black Panther Blitz. Last War Scourge with leaderboards. Okay, so this is kind of important right here. Uh, the Hulk event, the Red Hulk event is going to be the last leaderboard War Scourge. And um, that that's not, it, they're going to change the way that the rules work on this and they're going to restructure the leaderboards. And so this is going to be the last one that works like that. Double XP, Strange Divination, Ronin, Play Blitz with Cosmic Crucible Battles, Hard Nexus 3 and 4, Magical Marauders, Quick Rumble Blitz, Blitz with Marauders, Mockingbird Initial Release, Recruiting Ronin, Spin Campaign Energy, and Play Raid Battles, fine. Uh, Mockingbird will be coming to the game on the 15th. And what do we got right here? Complex Conjurations, Web Milestone, Commanders who are actively earning Blitz credits will be eligible for additional rewards. Fine. Recruiting Ronin, Release Event. Uh, that will be happening on the 15th. Quick Rumble. Nobody cares about Quick Rumble. And the New Recruit Reminders. So that this is uh, the event that's already running. The Scourge. We're going to read this right here. As mentioned in the previous blog, Scourge Events for Apocalypse Horrors will soon be updated with a new reward structure. Final run of the Red Hulk Scourge will, with a leaderboard goes live on september 11th at two o'clock prepare for your final chance to earn shards and a ton of other rewards from the rank rewards and later birds during this run before it changes forever uh ne nexus campaign challenges union jack i always want to call him british zemo and titania so that'll be happening on the 13th and then we've got uh this information right here infestation in the gamma it looks like they're going to add that finally please announce the amendment of the last week blog section about infestation being added to the gamma three and four infestation will be added to the boss mode in their section this will be updated soon stay tuned for this all right that'll do it for today let me know what you think in the comment section bye for now